Welcome back! If you're just joining the series, you may consider watching the setup video so you're ready to keep coding and learning. In this video, we will be learning about the most fundamental file type and language that makes up the web, HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Open VS Code. If you already had it open from the previous lesson, select File, New Window. To begin an HTML file, we just need to create a new file in VS Code and we'll name it index.html. Index is not a random name. It is specifically the name that web hosting servers look for that indicates the first page of your website. In some circles, this is called the home page. If this page lived on the site, mywebsite.com, then anything on this index page would be viewable directly at that web address, also called a URL. If we make a new folder called page one and add an index.html, then visiting mywebsite.com slash page one would display the content of that index. If you use any other name besides index, such as about.html, then the URL would become mywebsite.com slash about.html by default, which is how you create additional pages for your website. But we'll get more into that later. So what do we actually put in an HTML file? For the modern web, here is your essential template, which is also referred to as the boilerplate. We first begin by declaring the doc type as HTML. Then, we see our first standard HTML tag. A tag is the name for what defines elements that appear in HTML and is identified by an opening and closing bracket. Some tags wrap other items. Some are one line self-contained tags. The first tag happens to be the actual HTML tag. Next in sequence is the head tag and you'll see that it is wrapping some other required items. First in this sequence is the meta tag, which declares the type of character encoding the document uses. Essentially, UTF-8 is the most common type, which has the greatest support for the most types of content. So for now, just know that it's a required tag. Next up is the title tag, which is what you see displayed as the text in places such as the browser tab search results, and social media previews. Best practice for this tag is to ensure it matches the type of content that is found on the page, such as the business name for the home page, or something like contact us. Following this is a meta viewport tag, which is necessary for our site to adjust its size appropriately, whether it's displayed on a large desktop monitor or a mobile phone. There are a few ways to define this, but this is the most recommended, which says to set the HTML document width to match the browser window width and to not impact the scaling of items on the page as a default. Whoa, that was a lot of things. But since this is all part of the required template, it's something you can copy and paste from one project to another for easy reuse and not have to precisely memorize what's needed. But we do have one more tag and that's the body tag. All the content you want to appear on the page resides in the body tag. As an example, let's add a paragraph tag, which is represented by a P. Now, in the setup video, we did a bit of magic to launch and view a web page in the browser, but really any file that ends in .html can be manually opened in the browser. So let's go out to the browser and do a file open to find this file. And there we have it. You've written your first HTML. Stay tuned for the next video to learn about essential HTML elements for building out a full web page. Subscribe now to be notified when new course videos are added. And if you're able to, please support the project on Patreon. The link is in the video description. Thanks, see you soon.